Hey guys, how you doing? It's Hex, and I'm here to talk about the game Taimumari. Taimumari. I don't, I don't know how, I don't know how to say this word. I'll, I'll be honest. I don't have any idea how that is said aloud. Um, but anyway, it's a pixel jumpy game. It looks quite cool. I've already launched it once to make sure it works and didn't do that thing where it fills both screens, fucks up my recording, and restarts my PC. You know the thing that happens. We've all been there with that. <laughs> but uh, it was released in December 2015. So it's a little way old. I've had it for a while, apparently. But uh, I didn't know I had it because it came with a bundle. I know it came with a bundle because if I specifically go on to play that and I go and buy it, I always remember where I got it from, you know? It's only the only time I forget where I got it from is when it came with a bundle and I just was like, oh, I didn't know where that came from. Anyway, I'm babbling. Uh, retro platformer. I've got my 8-bit do controller ready. Uh, it's still in joystick mode. I'm using no form of um, emulation for this. I'm not using like 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 an X-pad emulation. It's just using the joy port, the joy device from from Bluetooth. So, and I also, I've just realised I've never charged this pad. I've charged it once since I've had it, and that was like the day I had it. I charged it, and since then, it's never been on charge. It literally just occurred to me. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, okay. Anyway. Um, Buy the full edition of the game for £4.79, but currently on sale for £1.19. Um, it's also got some free DLC, which is kind of like not really DLC, because it's just like, it just installs actually inside the game. It's not like it's a separate entry in Steam. So it's not a DLC, it's an update, but we'll, we'll let them have that for free. Uh, anyway, retro style platform game keeps with the best traditions of games of our childhood. Take control of Himari. The young female, let's have to stop there and think about that. The young female wizard traveling across various ages to settle the balance in time across the whole world. Oh my god. And then there's a separate plot section. I don't care about that. Um, it uses, you need requirements OS, uh, Ubuntu, Linux, or Steam. You know, Ubuntu, Linux, or Steam OS. Uh, they're, they're the three operating systems it runs on. So it runs on, and Windows. So it runs on four operating systems. It runs on Windows, it runs on Linux, it runs on Ubuntu, and it runs on SteamOS. They're all separate things, apparently. They're all separate things, according to this here. All separate. Nothing to worry about. Needs a Pentium 4 or higher. I think I've probably got that covered, to be fair. Um, 2 gigabyte of RAM. I, again, think I've got that covered. And 50 megabyte of hard drive space. In short, this will really, you should just they should just scrub all this and write. It's just as long as it's in color, you'll be fine. Uh, it talks about such classics as uh, Freedom Planet, which is a great, great game. If you haven't played Freedom Planet, that game's amazing, definitely worth playing. Is there anything else to recognise here? Uh, Shantae games are amazing, yeah, also. I don't think they're out of Linux Shantae games, are they? I don't know. If they are, that'll be my next video. <laughs> I'll go and check that now. Super House of the Dead, Super House of Dead Ninjas, that sounds cool. They Bleed Pixels, that's actually kind of interested as well. Um, so all in all, yeah, it, it, it thinks it's like it. Steam once again has managed to nail it and find games that actually are like the game it's talking about in the more like this section. So good work, Steam. Uh, right, here we go. Mixed reviews. 84 mixed reviews. 1.3 hours thumbs up. 0 0.9 hours down. 4 hours up. 3.8 up. So hmm, interesting enough. Okay, down. 2.5 hours down. Half an hour down. Okay. So, 65 positive, 19 negative. That's the kind, the kind of split I see with these pixel retro platformers. Because some people, I think, don't really know what they're in for. And then they go, this looks old and shit. Um, and yeah, that's kind of the point of them. And if you don't like that, don't play them, is my advice to you. And if you do like that, play them and enjoy them. Yay, it's, ti it's tiny. Oh, no, there you go. It saved my sense. This is on three times zoom in. Um, I haven't tried full screen because that seems to go wrong. Um... So does it, I'm hitting on my pad, I'm hitting the start button, it's not, it's not, it's not happening, it's not happening, okay, so, let's see options and see if we can get to connect to our pad, uh, hey, 8-bit, yay, does that work now? Control settings, up, gamepad up, okay, that, sh that should work, why is it, so it knows the controller's there, it accepts it, okay, is there, is there any form of smoothing, actually? Okay, no, because the font is awful in this game. So we're going to continue our game from earlier. Oh, auto save. We haven't got a save game. I even went through all the talking earlier in hopes it'd save. Uh, normal. Okay, so, so what we have to do now is we have to look at the ridiculous pixel font now. I hate the pixel font because it looks fine like this big in a little window. It looks fine. Or from far away, it looks fine. But I've got a 27-inch screen. This looks fucking unreadable. It's just, just horrible to read. It hurts my mind reading it. It's a nice transparent crystal, though. It's a nice, nice transparent crystal. Uh, 
plot. If, if again, if I decide this game's amazing and I want to play it properly from start to finish, like like a grown up, I'm gonna have to reduce that to like size one screen so I can like read it all properly, then make the game bigger to actually play it. So, so yeah, she's uh, she's asleep. She's asleep. I'm still trying to do, convince my pad to do something. I might just set up Xbox simulation for this pad because so many things go. I see it and then just don't use it. Wait, is she awake now? Is she awake now? Okay, she's she's awake. She's got little upside down Tetris eyes. That's that's cute. I like that. Little cat ears. It's adorable. There's butterflies chasing her. I don't like butterflies. They're like day moths. They're like like weird day moths. I don't like them. Okay. No, see, it's not. See, I don't get that. See, look, it's it. I'm just gonna check the options again. Okay, I'm saving settings now. So I've selected the controller. And nothing. See, it's weird, look. Nothing's happening. It's, it's so weird. Control setting. 8-bit controller. So, up. See, it's not detecting at all. Oh, no, no, that was that was not where I want. That the fuck? Okay, okay. There's good to... Oh, the full screen does work then. <laughs> wow. Okay, so three full screen fix, fine. Control, oh, control settings. See, that's that I've just fucked that now, haven't I? I've made up because I, I've made up. Um, yeah, that's well thought out, guys. Well thought out, very well thought out there. Um, very, very exceptional job there, guys. Uh, so we'll just we'll just use the keyboard as I fucked up the ability to push up. Uh, yep. So move to the right, jump, yay! See, if I was a professional YouTuber, I'd edit all that out, and I'd be like, "No, no, it's fine, it's fine. That didn't happen. No, it happened." I give you the, I give you reality, guys. I'm not sugarcoating it. You see, you see, you know, you see where it's. Oh, double jump. Okay, double jump. Uh, yeah, you, you see what I see, guys, and that's that's the joy of these videos because you can go, "Okay, Hex did that," and the amount of times people have messaged me and gone, "You made that cock up that I made and showed me how to fix it," and I'm like, "Hey, that's what I'm here for." So you know, it's, 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 there's a service I'm provided, I'm provide, being provided here. Yay, double jump. Yeah, double. She's got like little wings, like look at hair flaps. Hey, and then huggy, huggy jump. I'm guessing. Yeah, huggy jump. So the next, that's Z to jump. It's going to be X and C for the whatever I get next, isn't it? Watch. Okay. Uh, oh no, plot. No, no plot. Don't care about plot. Don't care. No. There we go. Yeah. Ooh, she's been beamed up from the ground because it came from the ground first. Oh yeah, yeah. Now I've got cutty cutty. Oh and yeah, dash. Cutty 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 cutty. Cutty, 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 cutty. Yeah, I'm just going to spam the shit out of that. Yay. Just, yep, spam the shit out of it. Just destroy them all. Oh, I'm not collecting the stars that are dropping. They could be, like, important or something, for all I know. Whoa, okay, that was that was not what I meant to do, but it still worked fine. Oh, shit. <sighs> Schoolboy error hex. Schoolboy error hex. Let's try it again. Let's go again. What happened? Oh, no, no, okay. Just skip through all that. I'm getting beamed up again. That just happened. Okay, fine. Fuck it, fine. Okay. I'll kill you guys. Okay. Spam, 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 spam. Spam, 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 spam. I, I said spam fast, then I forgot to say spam. I got on the upside, by repeating this section, I'm cheating and getting shitloads of stars. Who did, hold on, who designed a fucking house like that? That's that's cool. I want my house to look like that. That's cool. Okay, this is these guys are not exactly challenging. I I hope they're supposed to be not challenging. Okay, so jump, stop, jump, stop, jump, jump, stop, jump, jump, dash. Yeah, nailing it. Okay, uh, so yeah, that's 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 the game. That's. Okay, so uh, it's pretty okay. It's pretty formulaic, isn't it? I mean, this is like this is what we've come to expect from these games, and I'm I'm not criticising, but I've just I think I think I've played too many of these pixel platformers now. I think I've actually reached my limit. I mean, this is this is pretty. I like I like the art style. Oh no, shit! There we go. Yeah, just trashing everything. I wonder what happens. Do I get like 50 stars that I get a cookie? Nope, 100 stars for a cookie, maybe. Well. Okay. Yeah, I went for the back attack. Yeah, this this plays fine on keyboard. So yeah, plays that's that's fine. It looks like it looks it kind of like 
a weapon kind of looks weird. I like. Mm, yeah, okay. Can I go in these houses? No, I can't go to the houses. Oh well. I like that other one. What was that Arcadia? Oh, gun Arcadia thing I played. Was it Arcadia? I played one recently that I quite enjoyed. It was it was like it was almost like EGA graphics though. Gun metal Arcadia gun gun suit. I don't remember, but that was good. Anyway, I played some more of that after the video. It was good. Yeah. Oh, oh, precision platforming going on there. I think I can manage it. Oh, I, I landed on his head. Like it's not Mario, guys. It's not fucking Mario, right? It's not Mario. What was that anyway? The map. Press the S key to attack with magic. Okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah, S key to attack with magic. Yeah, nailing it. Let's just spam that. I know it says be careful, but there doesn't there doesn't seem to be a oh there you go, the magic meters in the far left. We don't need that platform. We don't need that platform. Yeah. So, magic is just a ranged attack. Okay, that's cool. So, limited. What's that there? Is that a secret? Oh. Press S to charge a spell. This is going to fuck him up now. Watch. Boom! Have it. There's a secret there. Look, I can see it. I see it. See? Oh, there you go. I thought I had to hit through the wall. Oh, yeah. Hex is nailing it. Got all the extra lives. Oh, yeah. Easy mode. Just, just run through now. Just run through. Just run through. What, I can't get out of it. Oh, my God. I can't get out of here. That's stupid. Okay. All the way back, then. Oh, my God. Can I get out of here? Nope. So, that's going to be a bitch to get out of. No, actually, it wasn't too bad. Have it. Have it. Have it. Have it. Boom. Dead. That's it. That's it now. I've got, I can annihilate them from, from, the, from wherever I am on the screen now. Just That's like, if this was Doom, that would be the BFG, wouldn't it, right there? You're in the middle. You've spawned up in the secret area. That's, that's boo for you. Whoa. Oh, I'm getting fucking Flappy Birds coming for me now. You don't expect Flappy Bird to be an enemy. Oh, 100. No cookie. Okay, fine. Fine. Score. Okay, score. A bit of retro. I always I always think, like, just because you go retro, like, does the score matter? Do you really need a score? Or is this a boss fight? Did that work? Did it work? Ah, crap. Have it, have it, have it, have it, have it, have it. What are they? Okay, okay I'm just, just... It's risky. It's risky, but I'm going to wait till he comes down and I'm going to shoot him. I'm going to shoot him with the with the laser thing when he comes down. There you have it. Oh, no. The S is a bit of a weird, actually, weird location for that key. Oh, because it's directly above... Okay, it's directly above... The Melise. That kind of makes sense, I suppose, when you get used to it. Nope, ask it. That guy just shot out tomatoes. Okay, I can I can go. Okay. Okay, it's telling me to charge up. Oh, yeah, so it's, it, that's how we're going to defeat this guy, isn't it? We're going to charge up. Oh, man. I just I did that wrong. So charging up's going to do it? Yeah. Maybe... Uh, no, I've got to wait for it to come down a bit more. There we go. I'm gonna. Oh, no, I can do it this time. Oh my god. I like the way they describe him as the villain. Like we're not even pretending he's a character. He's just the villain. I don't like his weird pooping. His weird pooping. This freaks me out. Ah. I'm out. Of, am I out of magic? No, I'm not out of magic. I'm out of charging magic. Can I not just stand on there and do it? Yeah, that's. It's just a lot easier. I should have just done that from the start, shouldn't I, really? Yeah! Nailed it. Fucked you up, you fucking clown face bitch. Oh, he is a clown face bitch. That's cool, because I didn't notice that he was a clown face bitch. And I just, from his pixel art, I called him a clown face bitch. And then when I see him in full screen, he is a clown face bitch. So, in fact, it's plot. No, no, no. Uh, we'll come back to that later. Yeah, he's getting beamed up now. Does he get superpowers? No, he's just fucked off. Okay. 
Okay, so I've put a break in the video here because I went on to talk and to play and to jump around for a little bit more at the end of that. But then I realised after the boss fight, there was probably no value to anything I actually said after that point. So I thought, hey, I'll just cut it and I'll do like a pin at the end. I'll put a little pin at the end and, and talk about the game. So the game is, I would say, after 10 to 15 minutes of playing it, face the first boss as you saw, it's a competent enough pixel platformer. The fighting mechanics are fine. The plot feels really shoehorned in. Like, I just wish I could just not bother. Like, it should just let me walk past people and not talk. Um, but then again, they want, they want to have something to set themselves aside. And there's so many of these uh, platform pixel games that it's it's the plot and the, and the, and the niceties and the characters that set it apart. But in this particular game, the jumping and shooting and, and attacking was so much fun, like, compared to the dry wall of text plot that i kind of feel like hey maybe you should have just done this with like smaller bite-sized chunks or a cartoon strip piece so you've seen that like old games used to do that that would have been a better way of handling it but as an actual jump around and hit stuff goes that game is perfectly serviceable i think the problem is now there's so many of these games of this like retro pixel platformers now that you have to be amazing and i think like if if you're gonna spend like at the price point it's fine but I think the thing Steam recommends here, like Freedom Planet, is literally amazing. Um, and that's a game that definitely, definitely should be played for everyone. And I think if you're only going to buy one of these games, Pixel Planet's sort of essentially the king of these on Linux. Uh, so it's definitely the one I would recommend over it. But at the price point, at the price point, I would have to say perhaps this one yeah, it's serviceable. And if you're really into these games and you've... Uh, if you're really into these games and you've you've had enough of the other ones, then possibly this this is serviceable enough and it's mechanically sound. I just don't know. It didn't strike me as being oh amazing. I want to play more. I was just sort of feel like I'm done now. Um, but that's not the bad game. It's probably because I've played so fucking many of these. Thanks for watching. I've been HexDSL, and don't forget you can hit the like and subscribe button if you feel so inclined. But do leave a comment. I like comments. Thanks, guys. Bye. Ah, there's no end bit today. Yeah.